Hi everyone and welcome back to The Glam Life and today I just have a video to show you on a twist out I'm attempting to do on my transitioning hair. And as you can see I've already flat twisted most of my hair and I secured the ends with a bantu knot. So I've already washed, shampooed my hair, deep conditioned my hair, moisturized and sealed. So before I, oh of course, and I also detangled. So before I start the twist, I put this little concoction of leave-in conditioner and aloe vera gel just to kind of the twist. So I just kind of run it through. All the way to the ends. I'm just going to start twisting. And I'm trying to do them small so they come out small. Even though some of the ones in the middle came out a little big. And I will say, I never thought I'd be able to flat twist my hair, or two strand flat twist, whatever this is called. Because I tried it a long time ago and I failed ethically. I'm like, wow, this is so hard. I thought it was harder than braiding. But after trying this out, I realized this is actually a little bit easier and quicker than braiding or corn rowing. So, I'm just going to continue to twist downward. Okay, now when I get to the ends, I kind of twist it like this a little bit. And then I just make a bantu knot. And that keeps them all secure. So I'll show you my full head. Other side. So I'm going to let these sit overnight. And I'm going to take them out in the morning. I hope it looks good. Good so morning, stay. everyone. Yes, it is the next morning, the takedown for the twist out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take down all my twists, and then I'll be back. All right, everyone. So now I'm down to my last twist. So I'm just going to take that one out. And I'm looking down into my mirror here. Let me put this mirror right here. Okay, and I did try to unravel them as carefully as I could so I could keep the definition, but as you see, that really didn't work out too well. So... I plan on doing a twist out puff with this anyway, but I said if it came out good enough, you know, when I just unravel the twist, then I would just do leave the twist out as is. But as you can see, I cannot do that. Other side. 
bit. All right, so now I'll get my supplies or whatever to do my twist out puff. Stay tuned. All right, everyone. So I turned the twist out into a puff like I said I would. And at first I was going to slick down the front to make it sleek and smooth and straight. But I kind of like the textured look, so I'm leaving it as is. And I know you can see the parts right there from the twist, but I really don't care too much about that. So this is the finished look. I know it's a little bit bumpy, but I actually kind of like it. Other side. And remember, this was done on transitioning hair. So the twist out puff, I think, is a great style for transitioners. Um, I don't think I'm going to cut my hair for a while if I could continue to do it like this and have it look this good. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll have some still pictures at the end. Okay, I'm sorry. I did forget to mention how I actually made this puff. So I took a pair of pantyhose and I cut the leg off. And then I just took it and wrapped it around, um, made it tight, and then scooted back, as you can see. And then I wrapped it around a couple of times and then tied it. And it's not tied at all. And it's great for making this puff. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the pictures.